And I get to my Mike Tyson joke, and that's where I usually I get a standing ovation. And when I get to the joke, nobody laughs. <laughs> nobody. You know why? Because Mike Tyson is in the building. <laughs> and it was crazy because that's when Mike Tyson was like knocking people out for just smiling, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, you, you was breathing wrong, knocking yeah. my, and, and I get to that joke, and somebody yell, Mike is in here! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, my, that was me, bam, bam, I lost, <laughs> because, you know, because everything clenched up, I was like, bam, wow. Yeah, and then it was a black girl, and you know, it was a black girl egging on, she was sitting in the front, what you gonna do, Jamie? <laughs> You gonna tell the joke? You gonna tell your little joke now, Jamie? I'm like, don't get him upset. You know, so I'm just trying to do it. So then the dude said, Mike said, do the joke. But it better be funny. <laughs> so I do the joke. I think it was something like Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson going through the drive-thru with Kentucky Fried Chicken or something like that. Hi, this is Mike Tyson. <laughs> so welcome to Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, can I get chicken, uh, chicken and biscuit and some slaw? <laughs> What's that you say, sir? I want slaw, I want slaw, lots of slaw. <laughs> so, so anyway, anyway, the joke goes over, it's a standing ovation, and then Mike comes up to me. There he is, you crazy motherfucker, come on, go with me, come on, right now, you silly motherfucker, get in the car. And I get in the car with Mike, and I just start hanging out with this motherfucker. I was like the gesture, like whenever he needs somebody to laugh, you make me laugh. Oh, shit, knock, knock, <laughs> knock, knock, motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh but, but you've never seen nothing like that, though. Like, he was, he reigned supreme. Like, he had the Lambo trucks and all that other shit. He, he had, had the, all, the Ferrari, he had all of that shit, bro. And I actually hung out with Mike during all those times. He'd be in the, in the, in the club, the girls, like, you like BMWs? <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, he just go buy a bushel of BMWs. <laughs> just like giving them out to yeah, people. Yeah, give me a bushel of BMWs and, and add slaw. <laughs> <laughs> And women came to, to stay at my house because they wanted to see Mike Tyson. He had this pool, like, it was corporate women, you know, like beautiful corporate. I said, what is it about Mike Tyson that you like so much? And she's getting ready. She's like, Jamie, is there something about a man who ain't got no shirt on and no socks and he could beat up everybody in the world? <laughs> and I was like, rock. And when we went to the after party, it was at his house. And everybody was there. Stevie Wonder was there playing the piano. And, and he didn't like a, uh, what's the thong song guy? Uh, for some reason, he didn't like, get away from me, thong song. I was like, oh. I didn't like that thong song. I was like, hey, man, you better stand over here. You don't like that. And uh, uh, I watched the girl ask him to, to take a picture. Would you take a picture? And he said, get away from me. You don't want me to take a, take a picture. You want to put me back in jail. And it really got serious. And everybody was like, whoa. Get away from me. You, you, you want to put me in jail? And, and the security guards were like, yo, Mike, 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 hold on, Mike, Mike. And even Stevie Wonder was like, what, what is... <laughs> Steve, Stevie was like, Steve, I, I, was, I, was, I was like, Stevie, sit down. You don't want to catch a, a right or something. Just, what, what's going on? Don't worry about it, Stevie. Just, just, <laughs> just calm down, Stevie. Calm down, Stevie. Because, <laughs> you know, he wanted to flee. He just heard some, he's, you know, his ears, his ears are very sensitive. <laughs> when I went to meet with Mike, it's a different Mike, which is the Mike I think we'll really, really focus on. I went to his house, different, modest, no lions, no tigers in cages. Just, <laughs> and I said, Mike, how are you? And he's, he, this is the, this is the, this is Mike, not the impersonation. All praises to Allah, my brother, I'm happy. I said, really, why are you happy? Because I don't have any money anymore. So why does it make you happy? Because no, nobody can take anything from me anymore. So I don't have any vultures. I don't have anybody out here trying to take my soul. I don't have anybody doing it. So I'm just happy. I said, Mike, that's who we play. That guy, the redemptive guy who's gone through everything, who now is reflective, reflective on the fact that you can say you don't have any more money and that's what makes you happy. That's the American story. And then when you saw him interact with his daughter, every time she was outside playing, he says, be somewhere I can see you. I don't want to be able to have to look out there and not see you. Don't make me mad now because I don't want to be able to see you. I don't want anything to happen to you because he lost his daughter. So all of those things is going to make this movie, I think, one of the most exciting things that I've... Yeah, what a life. I just going to be amazing. You'll be